Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your new moon reading for January the 2nd. So this new moon happens in Capricorn, and it is for the first uh, sort of super moon of the year, which is, um, yeah. So this is going to get you to focus on your goals long term, um, nurturing your dreams in a realistic manner. And it's about you starting to realize that reasonable boundaries give you freedom, right? Um, I think it, you've probably work, been working on that. And this is just, it's sort of like these like things that just come in as like, oh, you know, that that is a good thing. This is a good thing, right? So it's, it's giving you that stability and practical movement forward, which, you know, Gemini's. <laughs> we can be practical, but we can also be very impractical, depending on what it is and how passionate we are about it, right? So sometimes we do tend to get caught in the wind. So there we go. Okay, so Gemini's, first of all, um, please do like and subscribe because the bonus is in effect. So I would love to obviously do your bonus for you because I'm Gemini and I love to be able to give to my gems because I feel like nobody can really quite read a Gemini, but a Gemini because the readers tend to get frustrated with us and uh, because I don't think they have the insanity <laughs> that we do. So anyways, please do like and subscribe because I go based off of that um, for the bonuses. So let's go ahead and get in this. Also, guys, I do appreciate the support. So let's get into this. Your commitment is being tested. Your hard work is paying off. And don't let pride get in your way. There is something, um, you know what? And I don't hear that somebody else is testing you. I hear, and look, you have new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. I hear that your um, your connection to yourself is getting tested. Your connection and your healing that you've been doing is um, getting tested. That's what I'm really, truly hearing. Um, so, let's go ahead and some cards so wow there's a mess of cards I don't know if you can see this that are coming out man they're just flying out this morning okay ah. okay so let's see so right here the seven of cups has actually come out sideways so I feel like you were and this is remember about dreaming um, there's a lot going on. I feel like you've, I think, I think that you've just been pulled in a lot of directions lately, right? And you're just, you're just like, okay, here, 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 here. I get the sense that it's just very busy energy. Um, and there's not much that you can do with the, these all landed in a pile. So let's see what we have here. We have the page of wands in reverse. So something that you've been hoping for hasn't quite started yet. Um, you're feeling sort of a little bit weighed down by something, okay? And um, and this is your commitment being tested. Yeah, your Ten of Cups is in reverse. So again, delays. So, um, and I feel that this is not you. I feel like there's a lot of things going on around you that have sort of stopped you from being and doing and feeling. But look at this, the Empress. So you are in creation mode. So I think that this is also your calling back, right? So you've worked so hard to maintain um, building a new life and um, you've worked so hard at um, uh, sort of like moving ahead. You've worked so hard at trying to find balance and finding your power again, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're a man or with a woman. Yeah, the Hierophant. You've been really, really moving ahead with, um, with trying to bring yourself in, like the wounded healer. You've been really spending a lot of time with yourself because I think when you do go out to try to find a partnership, you're looking for partnership of some sort. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's romantic or business or even a friendship. Um, you want to find sort of a, a counterpart, like a proper. Okay, well, you want to find love. 
So the Two of Cups came out. Um, so you're really, um, really bringing yourself into a space where you're so emotionally charged and ready that you're, um, yeah, you're, you're, you're calling in like this beautiful energy of being with someone. Um, and I feel like this is all very internal right now. So really it is your heart's desire to have some sort of, um, connection. This could also just be you connecting with your soul because your test, your commitment is being tested, right? We're just, don't let pride get in your way. So you have the nine of swords. I feel that you are, um, you have some other things happening that are still, um, triggering you right and yeah and it's a little bit chaotic and a little bit out of your control but you've been working very hard at releasing old patterns um this devil energy so it's this very scattered energy um i don't know why don't let pride get in your way um is here i don't because you've been working so hard now guys the five of cups is in reverse here's the deal okay um, with the Empress and the Five of Cups, with whatever happens here, okay, this is about possible pregnancy. So if you do not wish to get pregnant, just beware, okay, because these two cards are here. So that's your little warning, okay? So just, just a little thing there. But your Five of Cups is in reverse, and it's about you moving on and recovering. Like, this is what's going to be happening. Oh, you know what? It's about not letting pride get in your way of recovering. I think that there's still a few little things that you need to tie up and it's just about maybe you need to, maybe you've sort of neglected a meditation practice. Maybe you've neglected like um, something to do with you doing things for you. And it's just about you reconnecting with your divine, with your universe, with your being, with yourself. Um, and that's the ego is I think that, or pride story. It's, it's, it's about, you know, making sure that you just go back and take care of it because you are going to be moving on and healing from it. This came out right under here. You, there's still a few little patterns that you need to release, but that's okay. Um, in the chaos, okay, there's chaos that's happening and I feel like you need to really see and break those patterns. You really need to hone in on your meditative skills and on your deep, deep soul level skills to get through this and your hard work is paying off, right? You are gonna get through whatever this is. Okay, Gemini, that's your tiny little new moon reading, and thank you so much for your support for my channel, and I will see you in your next reading. Thanks, guys.